listening. Nick. Uh, any chance you got a second now? You all right, Nick? I wouldn't normally bother you with this sort of thing, but, uh, well, I know I can trust you at this point. For as long as I can remember, I've been getting these, uh, flashes. Memories of places I've never been. Things I've never seen. Memories of Nick's. They're not bad, they're just, um, they're just this inescapable reminder that I'm not the person I think I am, that I'm not a person at all. I'm just a machine, pretending to be human. Seems like a waste of energy. Just look at where humanity's gotten us. Yeah, that's easy for you to say. You don't have someone else's life trapped in your skull. Don't get me wrong. I know I'm in Nick's debt. These memories, they've, they've kept me alive. Nick was a hell of a cop. A guy with good instincts and a good heart. I always counted myself lucky they didn't load me up with some ex-con. Or whatever type might volunteer to let folks tinker with their gray matter. But it's thanks to Nick that I pass for human. Why I get to live cushy in Diamond City, and every other synth is shot on sight. I know I got it good, but... My entire life, I owe to Nick. Everything that makes me who I am. My judgment, my speech, hell, even my name. They're his. And I can't do a damn thing about it, because without them... Without them, I'm nothing. A shell. All I want is a life where I have something I can call my own. You've already built a life for yourself, Nick. You've got the agency, a home, friends. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. You know, I... I'm just gonna need some time to think on this. I appreciate you hearing me out. You're... You're a real good friend. Thanks. Hey. There's something you need? You know, there is this chunk of Nick Valentine history I've been hoping to put a bow on for a while now. I could use a hand if you're willing to take a crack at it. Sure thing. What's the case? Well, this one's straight out of the archives. Once upon a time, in the land of Boston, there lived a king of organized crime, Eddie Winter. He was a bad man who did a lot of bad things, hurt a lot of innocent people. But he knew the end was coming, so he sealed himself inside a personal shelter, located underneath the sub shop he used as a headquarters. Eddie Winter was from my time. Real scumbag. The story gets even more twisted. The arrogant bastard wanted to cheat death, live forever, so he could come out of that shelter someday into this brave new world. Sound familiar? Only Eddie didn't want to be a frozen banana. No cryo sleep for him, no. He invested his money in some sick, crazy radiation experiment. You don't mean to tell me he used that radiation to... That's right. Eddie Winter went and turned himself into a ghoul. 200 years before it was fashionable. Hell, he was probably the first one. And I'm convinced that he's still locked inside that shelter. Safe and sound. Ready to come out and begin his evil reign all over again. I'm gonna find him and kill him. So that never happens. You in? I, I don't get it, Nick. Why kill Eddie Winter, even if he is still alive? This sounds like some kind of vendetta. I've got memories of a, of a girl. My girl. They're not really my memories, I know that. They're Nick's. But the girl, she was real. She was beautiful and innocent. And Winter killed her. Now he's got to pay the price. 
So, knowing that, are you in? All right, Nick. Let's get the bad guy. Good. Now, I know where Winter's vault is, but the door is sealed with a complex numerical code. Lucky for us, Winter's arrogance knew no bounds. Back in the day, he recorded ten holotapes, incriminating different criminal associates. On each one, he hit a single number. We find all of those holotapes, we get all the numbers. We get all the numbers, we get the code. And then we get Winter. I've been putting together a file on this one for a while now. There's a pair of holotapes in here worth listening to. Uh, including one of Winter's that I managed to snatch from the Cambridge Police Evidence Lockup before getting swarmed by ferals. On my way out the door, I spotted an active evidence terminal. I'll bet my hat that terminal is the key to finding the rest of the tapes. Probably worth revisiting any police departments you may have stumbled across in your travels as well. Hey. I'm listening. How are we doing on the hunt for Eddie's tapes? Still searching for him. Uh, just let me know when you manage to get your hands on him. Hey. What's the plan? Not right now. Thanks. All right, then. I think we're really starting to make a difference. Hey, buddy. Greetings, buddy. Would you like a cold one, or did you want to hear a joke? I'll take a beer. Cold and refreshing. Hey, buddy. Good to see you again. Here for a laugh, or did you want a cold beverage? Tell me a joke. What is the best way to maintain a balanced diet? Keep a beer in each hand. Care to wet your whistle, or do you require a laugh? Tell me a joke. A priest walks into the bar and takes a seat Radio next to a ball hand. girl. Then he All turns quiet. to her and says, Kara, data corruption, punchline not found. Ha, ha, ha. That's a good one. Care to wet your whistle? Or do you require a laugh? Tell me a joke. Charles Dickens walks into a bar and orders a martini. The bartender turns to him and asks, Olive or twist? Ah, ah, ah. Would you like a beer? Tell me a joke. That's all the jokes I have for now. Would you like a beer? I've sold you to Ruth. Understood. Commencing delivery to Mr. Rubens. Hey, buddy. Currently on route to location. Would you like a beer? Can I still change the home parameter? Current home parameter is set to Hotel Rexford. Shall we commence delivery to the Hotel Rexford? No, not yet. Very well. Standing by. Hey, buddy. Currently 
on route to location. Would you like a beer? Can I still change the home parameter? Current home parameter is set to Hotel Rexford. Shall we commence delivery to the Hotel Rexford? Can you brew any other types of beer? If provided with a hollow tape containing the recipe, I should sure. shall we commence them. Change of plans. I've decided to keep you myself. Understood. Are you ready to set the parameter home at this time? I'm ready. Very good. Please select the default home location. Home. Parameter accepted. Beginning transit. See what I can do. Howdy, General.
remind me to stay on your good side.
keep looking at me like that? I'm gonna start thinking you're a sin. You're heading outside the wall. I want to stock up at Commonwealth Weaponry first. Looking back, you'll find that coming here was the best decision you've Hi. ever made for yourself. If you're seeking safety, a long-range run. I'll take a look. Sure. Something for everyone. weapon you see here could be the dip sure let's take a look a gun for every occasion Heads up.
Do something for you? Look alive. Go on. Over there. How about we try something else? Go check that out. Can't be done. Look alive. I'm all ears. Take a look. No way I can pick this. Go ahead. How are we doing on the hunt for Eddie's tapes? Still searching for him. Uh, just let me know when you manage to get your hands on him. I'm new here. Did you have anything you wanted me to do? Yeah, let me show you. Sure. I'd really like to talk to you. Are you ready? Excuse me. I'd really like to talk to you. Are you ready now? Something wrong? I don't know. You tell me. After Tommy stuck me with you, I was expecting to hate your guts. Not only because you've agreed to pick up me contract, but because I was waiting for you to order me around like hired help. Now, so far, you've been treating me like a friend. Hell, you've been damn near nice to me. Now, I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but your kindness is starting to make me wonder. If there's anything I learned in the combat zone, it was that nobody does things for other people without expecting something in return. What exactly do you think I'm expecting in return? Who knows? Doing your laundry, taking a bullet for you, hauling your gear. What's the difference? I don't think I'm getting through to you. Let me explain what I mean, then maybe you'll understand where I'm coming from. I spent three years living at the combat zone. Smelled like puke and piss. But I called it home. I was making a few caps. Had me own bed to sleep in and three hot meals a day. Then the raiders took over the place. You know that lot. You aren't exactly what you'd call the gentle type. After they moved in, if you didn't keep looking over your shoulder, you were liable to get sucker punched or robbed. Or worse. Didn't take me long to learn that I had to put my hard-earned caps to good use. Buying friends was essential to making life easy. So, I guess I'm waiting for you to hand me a bill. You know what I mean? Why are you so paranoid about debts? I really don't want to talk about it. I'll tell you what. Give me some time and I'll think of something I can do to repay you. I'm not a rich girl, but I'm sure we can agree on something. After all, what are friends for? <clears throat> Ready to head 
back out? Ready. Good. Then let's get moving. Heading out with Kate, huh? Hope you know what you're getting into. Hey, Valentine. I think you've got something on your face. Oh, it's skin. Yeah, you might want to get that looked at. Hey, what you need? I want to trade a few things. Of course. This is Radio Freedom. Nothing to report. Keep it tuned here for Minutemen Alerts. spot for a last stand. Hey. Hmm? Oh, sure. Make me carry more of your junk. Hey. Yeah? Check it out. Yep, I've got it. This one might be rough. Don't get your hopes up. Oh, for the love of... Stupid lock. That was easy. How about a challenge next time? Only thing better than getting pissed is picking a fight. Am I right? Yes. Heads up. Need something? This is my favorite part of the job. Heads up. This better need something. We should go our separate ways. I'll head out. But I'm not gonna lie to you and say I'm happy about it. If you change your mind, you know where to find me.
back hurts, my feet hurt, everything hurts. Need to get back to Diamond City one of these days. been growing pretty good lately. Excuse me. Looking for a weapon? Let's see what you have. Here's what I've got. Shoot people, lady? My dad says outside to shoot people. So it's true then? You're leading the Minutemen? Good for you. Great cause. A uh, mayor's work is never done. Excuse me. If you're thinking safety, a long-range run. I'll take a look, sure. Don't forget to stock up on ammo. Remember, I don't serve since. Supply? I've got a few minutes to browse. Odds and ends. Read that interview you gave. The thing you said at the end about having hope. Good on you. Need 
need some custom hardware? We got a free workbench for all your modifications. Scopes, clip sizes, barrels. Ready for that new case? I'm a little busy right now, Ellie. Oh, all right. How are we doing on the hunt for Eddie's tapes? Still searching for him. Uh, just let me know when you manage to get your hands on him. Hey, Valentine. Time to hit the road again? Get back to the hunt for Eddie Winter? Let's head out. Well, all right. Look alive. There's something you need? Here's what I've got. Ready for that new case? been to kill or be killed some fine looking weapons hey Cleo every weapon you see here could be the difference between life and death baby sure let's take a look murder and mayhem at a discount look Each alive sister. go ahead here's what I've got there's still someone alive under all that gear Cleo I've got a weapon here for every situation uh-huh Sure. Let's take a look. Purchase of Take a beer. Cold and refreshing.
Radio Freedom. It's 5 p.m. Nothing to report. Stay safe out there, everyone. You ain't been up to see Greyguard, you should go. What place is run by robots?
folks at their worst in my line of work. Hard to not let it get to you sometimes. 